Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm just starting to film this episode on The Conjuring House um, right now, but I don't know as I'm starting to speak if it's going to be a one part or a two part series because I do want to talk to you guys about the paranormal world in general and investigating and what goes on and things like that, as well as show you what went on when we did The Conjuring House investigation this past weekend. So The Conjuring House has been an investigation that I've been wanting to do for about two years now. Um, I'm sure everybody has seen the movie. If you haven't seen the movie, maybe you've heard about the movie. If you haven't, check it out. Google The Conjuring House. It is the farmhouse on Round Hill. It is absolutely insane. Um, it is one of the craziest cases that um, the, the Warrens have ever investigated ever and it's actually one of the craziest locations that we have ever investigated as well um not just because of evidence that we picked up because honestly um we didn't get a whole lot of evidence while we were in the conjuring house what i did get was a whole lot of feels uh, but stay tuned if you guys are interested i'm about to go deep in the conjuring house in the paranormal world so stay so, hi guys, I'm a good witch, and um, that's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother day. I really enjoy the paranormal, and I got into the actual investigation part of it about 10 years ago, I want to say, maybe 9 or 10 years ago. I'm not positive. Do not quote me on that. I have been a fan of the paranormal since I was a child. Um, I always loved being scared during the moment and then I'd be like so freaked out for like sometimes even like months later like it really really fucked with my head when I was a kid but then at the same time I still loved doing it so weird right not really because even as adults how many people love being scared like I want to be scared they go to the haunted house they watch the movie then they go home and they're by themselves and they're freaked out right because I do the same thing like last night I started a bath and I put all the Epsom salts my oils everything and then I was like distracted watching something like paranormal of course on YouTube and while my bath was running and then I shut the water off for too long totally forgot about my bath because I was so distracted and my husband was going to bed and he's like well have a good bath good night I love you and I'm like yeah forget it I'm not taking a bath and he's like why not but he knew why not um, I felt kind of funny since I've come home from my investigation but we'll get into that later so anyways I have seen spirits ghosts, whatever you would like to call them. Um, we can also get into that in another episode. If you guys are interested in hearing more about the paranormal world and the differences and what a ghost is, an entity, a malevolent spirit is, um, there's all different kinds of ghosts. So if you guys ever want me to do a video on just like the paranormal world and stuff like that, like again, I'm no pro. I just that's it. I'm clairvoyant. Um, that's a positive. But I have also had a lot of different other feelings since I was a little kid. And since I started this journey um, investigating the paranormal, um, more and more senses are just coming to light. Um, senses that were always there, but I've been really trying to just work on them and grow them. Um, because I have a very busy mind, so I do hear things, but sometimes I can't stop the noise. So these are all things that I'm working on. But the first ghost that I ever saw was um, right after I was adopted, actually. Um, this house we lived in in Woonsocket, Rhode Island, and I was five years old, and I saw this same ghost. It seemed, it felt like when I was a child that it was every night of my life. Of course, I'm sure it wasn't every day of my life. Long story short, which I will tell this story if you guys want me to, let me know in the comments, and I will tell you the story of the first haunted house that I lived in because it stays with me to this day. It was completely traumatizing. But as an adult, my mother did confirm with us that there was a ghost in the house, so I used to freak her the fuck out when I used to tell her because she actually knew there was a ghost, and then you have your five-year-old kid telling you that you can see the ghost. My mother never actually saw it. She only felt it. So, back to the Conjuring House. So this past weekend, well, actually, the first day I went to the Conjuring House, house was on October 1st so of this year but I didn't stay overnight. So I had the opportunity to come do a day tour because my procrastinating ass took way too long to book the house because I didn't really think much of it. And I don't know what I was thinking, like who doesn't want to go to the conjuring house, right? Well, 
stupid. So I was just like, yeah, yeah, waiting because I really wanted my children to come. They are part of our paranormal team. They started with me a couple of years ago and they don't go everywhere with me. A lot of them are actually scared to go to the conjuring house. Um, but it's hard because my kids are grown now. So it's hard to get the family together to do these events. So long story short, again, I didn't book the conjuring house. And the next time I went on there to book it, my husband said it was completely booked until 2022. So like tears, like seriously, I mean, it was like, it's my own bad, but I was so sad. I cannot even tell you like the disappointment was awful. So when my husband was like, Hey, you can at least get in the house and do a tour. I was like, eh. But at the same time, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take what I can get. I have the opportunity to go in this house and feel it for myself. And for me, that was so important, honestly, because it was like, well, at least if I get in there and I can feel the house, I can see for myself. I don't go by what everybody else says. I go by how I feel. And this is a location, like I said, that I've always been drawn to feel the house. I can see for myself. I don't go by what everybody else says. I go by how I feel. And this is a location, like I said, that I've always been drawn to. It's a place like Freetown Forest for me. If you watch, if you guys go down my videos, I have lots of other paranormal videos. Um, I think I have a couple of them on the Freetown Forest and the Bridgewater Triangle. It's one of my very favorite things to do. Um, but I can do more of those too. I'm actually hoping to get back out to Freetown before it gets really freezing out here and do some sessions on the ledge. Um, but for anybody who knows, those, that is pretty much like my top location until the Conjuring House. Conjuring House is just a house that's been calling my name and I had to find out why. So we went last Friday and we did a day tour. We met the owners of the house, Corey and Jen, who are super down to earth and as much as I seem like I'm super go lucky um, and I'm like a wicked social person, when you get to know me, I won't shut up and you might hate me. Um, but if you don't know me, you'll probably be surprised to know that I am super shy when I don't know people. I'm very standoffish and I've built a very big wall because um, I've just been screwed a lot in the past. So I'm a very open person. So yeah. So I was very, very nervous about going there and meeting Corey and Jen and they met me, they made me feel comfortable right away. They just kind of let you walk into the house and like see it and feel it. Nobody's like up your ass the minute you walk through the door. Um, everything is just really, really chill, you know, and they come up nonchalantly. Hey, what's up? You know, the wife came, introduced herself. She's very friendly. Um, super sweet. So pretty, by the way. Um, um, and they're selling the house, by the way, but I guess. I should just shut up because I can run on senses. Okay, this is going to be a two-part story on The Conjuring House because I am running my mouth a lot right now. So anyways, we went on the day tour and it was beautiful. Just everything and more that I expected this beautiful old farmhouse to be. Um, I love the paranormal, but I'm a huge history buff. My husband loves history. as well. He loved the history, obviously, more. He is the skeptic. Although he has seen a ghost... He saw, he saw it in shadow figure while where I saw a full body apparition, but he still tries to pin it off as being something else. Even